After you've made quite a few changes, sometimes the easiest way to get back to the regular values is to reset the presets or use the restore operator defaults. And there's also another option. You can also create your custom presets. If you're familiar with the videos I make, you probably will recognize that every time I start the add-on, I usually turn off the guide and turn on smart join and optionally turn on add. And let's say if I wanted to store this as a setting, all I have to do is click this plus sign right next to operator preset. Give it a name and I'll call this my startup and press OK. And now you'll find my startup stored here. So if I go back to the defaults and I actually wanted to start using my startup, all I have to do is from the drop down menu, select my startup. As you can see automatically, guide is deselected, smart join is on, and add is turned on. You can add as many changes to this as you like. You can have a different simplification value if you like, or different default extrusion length, and so on. You can also create custom tool settings. One of my favorite tool combinations is what I call the slash tool. I like to subdivide objects using a stroke like this. And the settings for that is remove tool on and turn off volume and loop and turn on slice and adjust the thickness to something you like. And with this, I can cut as many shapes as I like. And let's say I wanted to store this as a setting. All I have to do right now is click plus sign again and let's give it a name. I'll call it slash. And now slash tool is present under the presets. You can also just as quickly get rid of one of the stored settings by pressing this minus button. First, select the setting that you'd like to delete and click minus tool and now it's gone. You can also create more complicated settings. Let's do something like this. Press K and increase the multi-line to two and turn on join strokes. And let's maybe also add a little noise to this. Adjust the spacing. And every time I do a stroke, we'll get something like this. And let's store this as a preset. Let's type multi-line. And with this, you can recall these settings anytime you like. This is the barrel and the chain. You can also create presets for things like this or this or like this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you next time.